now, cool. now, how to now again, uh, you know, obviously people do do these things, you know, set up these networks and have shows and things. Now, how do they generate revenue? Uh, like on, on Plex or on yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they're all ad based. Okay. So they literally do 10 minutes and then they throw in, Hey, is your ass clean? No, <laughs> then you need Charmin. Yeah, Lume. Or yeah, or Lume. Does your I, butt stink? Yeah, I know. I, I don't think I've I, I don't think I've ever seen one product put so many ads out everywhere I look now, whether it's a pop up ad or it's whether it's on a YouTube or whether it's on, you know, one oh, of yeah. the streaming services. It's just mm -hmm. like hey, you guys stink. We got yeah. something for you. You've got swamp ass, we've got Lume. <laughs> Oh, Dude, that and and it's the same girl. How would you like to be known as the stinky ass girl? Yeah. Does your ass crack smell? Yeah. <laughs> Can, is is your ass crack hard to distinguish from your fucking rotting pussy? <laughs> well, mine was until I got Lume. Uh, just just the uh, this is this is so your butt doesn't smell like butt. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I just, I just take my finger and I rub it up and down my ass crack. And then my, my stinko meter is zero. Yeah. Ta-da. It's gone. Yeah. The stink meter registers a negative two. Right. My ass smells lovely now. Right. Ugh. <laughs> it's like, you don't have to shower for a week. Yeah. I, that's about what she's saying. Yeah, no time to shower. Just just rub some lume on your mm. ass. Just put a little dab on your finger and stick it up that bunghole. And right. It'll be clean. <laughs> I've never I've never seen such aggressive marketing for one product like that. Nah, Every time I mean, you turn it, around, there's lume out there. I know. It, I don't know if that's saying something about maybe it's because we all sat around doing nothing for two years. Now all of us smell like fucking ass stink. I don't know, but <laughs> they must be onto something because they're advertising in football games and everything else. So they, they're making money. Uh, apparently so, but it's just like, I didn't realize this was such an epidemic problem. I'm waiting to see who's going to be the first celebrity to endorse this stuff. Right. Hi, I'm Pamela Anderson for Lume. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 remember me when i was young and hot yeah. and fresh and clean well right. as you age you're not so hot mm -hmm. young and hot and fresh and clean anymore i need a little assistance in that now so i get lume <laughs> <laughs> remember the times that i used to shit and it used to smell like yeah. a rose it's not like that anymore that's right remember when i used to run on the beach well now my ass smells like the beach so right. i use lume exactly <laughs> When you have that not so fresh smell anymore. That's right. <laughs> Just a little dab right on your pussy lips and it smells wonderful. It does. Jesus. It's now, the get new there, yeah. Go get in there and get some of that boys. But there, dude, there's so many of those kind of, have you seen the commercials? I think it's Charmin. It might be another kind of fucking toilet paper with the bears. Yeah. That's the Charmin. It's, it's like, it's like, first of all, Who's walking out of the, the, the shitter and having their asshole still itching. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what they're saying when they're, yeah. they're like, I, I, my ass is itching all day long. It's like, all right, well get back in there and finish doing the job. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's just like, well, when you're done, you know, using a roll of Charmin now, now dab on some Lume and you should yeah. be good to go. That's right. That should be uh that should be a partnership now. Just yeah. follow follow up your Charmin with your Lume and you should be good to go. And if your finger comes back looking like a chocolate shake, get back in there and use some more Charmin. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so stupid. So fucking dumb. It's like bad. We 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 are going backwards as far as uh our ability. I mean, th that was one of the things I, I don't know about your mom, but, uh, that was one of the things growing up that was like really important was personal hygiene. Oh yeah. That was, that was like really stressed, not only at home, but at school as well, mm -hmm. you know? And, and that was just like a, a big deal, you know, to, to teach you how to be uh, a hygienic person, you know, yeah. but we yeah. must have got away from that or something. Well, dude, I mean, I remember in those days, you couldn't even walk out the house looking disheveled. 
you could have like I, I don't I, I mean I do it now because I'm an absolute fucking caveman right. but but back in that day a t-shirt <laughs> no I was not I would I really wasn't allowed to wear a t-shirt unless I was playing in a sport that required that shirt right of course you know I mean I, I can remember even when I used to go to concerts I'd buy the concert t-shirt and then I'd put it on underneath like a button shirt and then I would take it off when I got to school, but I couldn't leave the house with motley fucking crew across the back of my t-shirt or whatever. Oh, right. Absolutely not. I, I had to be in a, at least some kind of a collar, you know, for my whole entire high school years. Yeah, look respectable. God damn yeah, it. Exactly. And, and even, I, and, and it used to drive me crazy because everybody in my school wore like jeans and t-shirts and my mom was still into like fucking cords and shit like that. <laughs> She'd give me those fucking corduroy pants that were awful. And they'd be like some weird fucking color too. They'd be like purple or something. Hey, yeah. where are these? These are great. Ugh. I always liked the girls that had a little thicker thigh that wore the cords because they'd walk. Yep. <laughs> they call her whistle bridges. <laughs> yeah, but there was nothing like a good pair of Jordash on a chick with a hot ass. Right. Of course. That was a good look. The Jordash look. Yeah. Little comb in the back. Used to take that comb and kind of slap it on their ass. Right. Of course. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had the, they had the feathered hair, like the girls on fast times at Ridgemont high. They did. What was, was that? That was the time. <laughs> that, was the time. that was the look. <laughs> yeah. Those are good days, man. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, you know, we're in a different day and age now for sure. But, uh, yeah. It, it's fun to look back and remember all that stuff, but well, uh, now we have, now we have face tattoos and pink hair and gauged ears. I guess it's wonderful. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll be getting a hold of a, a hold of a few of those people and getting them straightened right out. <laughs> no, I cannot wait until you get one of those fucking idiots and you're like, just keep your money. Yeah. Just keep your fucking money. We're, we're just going to pretend this, this didn't even happen. Right. <laughs> so funny. No sloppy kisses. I did not have sweater vests. I, I can honestly say I did not do sweater. Yeah, vests. Who are you? Potsy Weber. I'm not going to say I didn't wear vests though. <laughs> right. I definitely had a couple of vests for, for those dress, like, like dances and stuff. Oh yeah. Definitely had a vest on. Definitely had a coat on, you know, that, uh, you, my mom was not letting me go to like a dance without a coat like a, a sort sport, of a dress a coat sport jacket that's right <laughs> it was called a sport jacket right uh, yeah, yeah you gotta gotta look appropriate that's right well i'll tell you a quick story before we okay. break since you're talking about dress and all that stuff sure so high school graduation right mm -hmm. we, we graduated at ej thomas that we used the ej thomas hall for our okay. graduation ceremony sure so we're getting graduating and, um, like your mom, my mom was like, well, you got to dress appropriate, blah, 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 you know? So she goes, uh, you know, and of course you're wearing your, your, your cap and gown. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so I wore a collared shirt, but for some reason, I don't even know to this day why. But my mom was just absolutely insistent that I wear a tie. Okay. And I didn't wear a tie. I didn't wear one. I just, I don't need to wear a tie. I'm wearing right. the, the stupid gown. You can't even see what I'm wearing underneath the do, stupid gown. Right. So, so, um, I get to EJ Thomas hall. We're all lined up in alphabetical order, you know? So, so with be, my name being Neely, I'm like in the middle of the middle of the pack. Right. You know? I'm right in the middle of the al alphabet. So I'm standing there along where they lined us up along the sidewalk outside the building to, to, to march us in, you know, okay. the seats, you know, so I'm standing yeah. there just kind of minding my own business, waiting to march in right. all of a sudden from the back of the line, here comes a tie being passed through the crowd up to me. Right. My mom had to, had to go to the end of the line hand it to somebody at the, the end of the line and tell them to pass it on to make sure I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and 
That's funny. <laughs> and it was just like, Wendell, your mom, your mom wants you to put this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm 18 years old, right? Graduating high school, and my mom is handing a tie down through the crowd there to to hand me a tie. But she got to take care of her Winnie. Holy shit! <laughs> I was just like, "You've got to be fucking kidding me!" Oh no, dude, my mom was still doing that, doing that when I came home from the army. For God's sakes, <laughs> came home from the army, and she still was like, "Are you sure you're gonna wear that?" Like I, I was. Um, my first time I came home from Korea. So I'd already been gone, you know, pro about a year, you know, cause like six months and then I came home and then six more months. And then I came home for my first leave from Korea and I was driving up to Michigan to go and, um, pick up, um, this girl, Brenda, that I was dating or almost married at <laughs> one point. And, um, and she lived in Michigan. So I was going to be in a car for, I don't know, four or five hours, whatever, you know, however long that, that drive is to eight mile, you know? So, um, I remember I was getting ready to go and my mom took one look at me and she's like, is that what you're wearing? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. The, what's the problem? Yeah. She's like, you can't wear that. You need to dress. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, I was like, mom, just relax. And, you know, I'm, I'm in the service for God's <laughs> sakes. I'm going to pick up my fiance and I got my mommy straightening up my collar. Right. <laughs> so funny yep and look at us now yeah no just, now it's we're just dapper dudes just yeah, look now, at us now it's for me it's the same fucking hoodie over a different shirt every damn day just to keep warm exactly. I don't give a fuck what it looks like right <laughs> so funny all right well i say we take a break all right play a few tunes come back get rolling so uh why don't you do the honors all right. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. how's about if we go with, um, man of war with the gods made heavy metal from louder than hell. That sounds like a good one. All right. Man of war. Well, what, what, what'd you say? It came from where, uh, from louder than hell. All right. And the gods made heavy metal is the song. Okay. All right. Up oh, there it is. Got it. All right. Well, we're going to play a few tunes. We will come back and uh, get rolling here. So uh, here it is. It's Man of War exclusively here on your classic metal show. Thanks for checking out this episode of the classic metal show. Get all of our episodes uncensored at www.theclassicmetalshow.com. Join us weekly from 9 p.m. till 3 a.m. Eastern at www.cmsradio.net. Participate in the live chat room at www.chatandkill.com. Once again, thank you for checking out the Classic Metal Show with Neely and Chris. Hail and kill. Fuck you, pal. And hand job.